Hey guys, Hong Nee in here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys. So today, uh, I want to talk to you guys about six reasons why Connor might actually win against Khabib. Now, I made another video about why I think Khabib would win. Okay, five reasons why Khabib would win. But in this one, okay, I want to talk about six reasons why Connor could pull it off. I don't think he's going to pull it off, but I mean, it's very close. I only gave Khabib a slight advantage for, for you know, a, a couple of reasons. So anyhow, um, the first reason is, well, Connor is really good at mental warfare. So what I mean by that is that he, he could fuck with people and he could get people uh, emotionally bothered and riled up. Okay. And you see that happen with, uh, we saw that happen with Jose Aldo. So Jose Aldo was not himself the way he, he, he went into that fight. He just ran and lunged at Connor and Connor just knocked him out. Okay. And so, and that's not, that's not typical of uh, Jose Aldo. This is a, we're talking about a guy who had like 10 years of, um, of dominance, of experience, high level, right? And he just, he just went in there and got knocked out because he got too, uh, he got angry. And, you know, Connor did that to him, man. He fucked with him so much that the guy just went crazy, just wanted to take his head off with the first punch and boom, lights out. Okay, that being said, oh, there's also Eddie Alvarez. You guys remember that? Eddie Alvarez was supposed to wrestle Connor. And then Connor fucked with him so much that he decided, like, in the ring that, okay, I'm just gonna stand and, and strike with him and we all saw how that ended and Eddie ended up getting knocked out too right and there you go so and I think that if you guys saw the press conference I mean that's the first time I saw Connor so so intense and and intense in in a mean fucking way and I think he had to go he had to do that because um, Khabib is pretty stoic, right? Like he's just sitting there. He probably doesn't understand mo most of the shit that you're saying anyway. And he doesn't even give a shit. He's, he's a professional and you know, it, it probably wouldn't have bothered him if uh, Connor wasn't as intense and he didn't get so personal um, in all of his uh, insults and all his, uh, his trash talking and shit. So I think that by doing that, he managed to get into, get into Khabib's head a bit. So if Khabib can't fight, um, if I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, if Khabib fights with too much emotion, okay, and he gets, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, careless. He could get knocked out, okay? So that's the mental warfare thing. Now, the second thing, okay, is Connor's precision and timing. Now, once again, we saw this in the Aldo fight and we saw this in uh, the Alvarez fight where, well, you know, his timing and his precision is, is second to none in, um, in the UFC. And, and Khabib does kind of leave himself open. You know, he doesn't have the greatest boxing in the world. And Connor has the precision and the timing to pull it off. Okay, so that's number two. Uh, number three, well, it's been two years since he last fought in the UFC. So we saw him fight Floyd Mayweather, so we know that his boxing like went up a couple of notches for sure, okay? And behind the scenes, I mean, Connor's like he's he he's he he said it himself, he's obsessed. And he's probably he's probably been training the last, the past 2 years, doing a lot of wrestling and getting himself ready, you know, and he probably knew who he he, he was he was sitting back there training and working on all the aspects of the game and especially the, the aspects that he had to improve to eventually go up with guys who are very good, you know, wrestlers and grapplers and stuff like that. So, you know, he's no dummy. Plus, he had money. Uh, he has a lot more money now, um, you know, since, since that Floyd uh, Mayweather fight. So he could fly a whole bunch of wrestlers in and do all kinds of stuff. Like, he has the resources, you know, to surround himself with amazing uh, sparring partners. So... I'm guessing, and he's a smart dude, so I'm guessing that's what he did. He trained really hard. He probably trained a lot of sprawl and brawl and, and you know, like getting out of it, getting up, boom, and then like uh, capitalizing as soon on the break, you know, when, um, when he would get the, the wrestler uh, off of him um, and when he would get back on his feet. 
Okay, so that's the third thing. Now the fourth thing is that he punches really hard. Like you guys must have heard this. He has like the death touch well, with his with his left hand. So he can knock anybody out uh, with his left hand. Mind you, I don't think he'll he'd be able to knock Khabib out with just one punch uh, because Khabib is pretty big. His walk around weight, and I mentioned this in the other video. Um, he walks around at like 210, 2, 210. Connor walks around at 170. So, anyways, but not to say that he can't, like, he might not be able to knock him out with one punch, but you know, it might, it might take two, three. I mean, look, look at how he ended Alvarez, right? So, he could be able, he might be able to pull it off because he hits so hard. He just has to hit him a couple of times, you know, it maybe it won't be just one punch. Okay, so moving on. The, f the fifth point fight IQ. Okay, I think Connor is very smart. And fight IQ, what do I mean by that? I mean that he's able to adjust, right, in mid in mid fight and in between rounds, okay, to whatever his opponent is doing. He's able to adapt quickly on the fly. And it's uh it's very it's it's not all fighters that have this ability, but the great ones tend to have this ability to uh, adjust on the fly and make adjustments during the match, okay? And, you know, if they're good, like during the rounds, in between the rounds, they make their adjustments, you know, with their coach and blah, blah, blah. They listen to the corner. But the really good guys, you know, kind of like Floyd Mayweather, they're able to adjust while they're in they're in, in, in middle of the combat. So I think he has that fight IQ. So that's number five. Now, number six, okay? He has extreme confidence. And I think that because of this extreme confidence, in himself, he's able to stay super relaxed in, um, in the octagon. Like you'll notice when he walks in, he's not stressed. He doesn't seem like he's super tight and he's like all nervous and shit like a lot of fighters, right? Like he's in there and he's breathing, he's calm. Like he actually takes in all the, um, all the energy of the crowd, all the pressure, like he thrives on it. So I think that he goes in there really calm and he's relaxed, and I think that that kind of fucks with people too. I mean, if you come in there and you seem so calm and so relaxed, I mean, the other guy is kind of like, oh shit, what does this guy know that I don't know, or what, do you what does he have up his sleeve, you know? So I think that that extreme confidence that he has and that the way he's so calm and relaxed inside the ring, I mean, man, that's gonna definitely play a, be a factor in the fight. Okay, so those are the six reasons why I think Connor might actually pull it off. But I think I still think Khabib's gonna win. Let me know what you think. I'll put a link in the video of uh, uh, of the other one that I made where I talk about five reasons why Khabib would actually why Khabib is gonna win the fight. But hey, that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens. And uh, it's it's only what are we today? It's like not this weekend, but next weekend. So it's coming up really fast. I can't wait for it. It's going to be a great fight. So make sure you guys tune in. And uh, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be great. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.